My name is Ellen. I'm a Tai Chi instructor at San Jose. Today I'm bringing you an online Tai Chi lesson. This will be Introduction to Tai Chi. We will go over the warm-up exercises. If you've never taken my class before, this will be a really good introduction for you. Uh, we'll be going over these warm-up exercises before we start every lesson. If you have taken my class before, then this will be a really good opportunity for you to refine your skills and really work on your movements. So, if you're joining me in your house, uh, please make sure you have some space around you. You're in a nice, quiet, and calming area. You can be standing or seated. Uh, if you are able to go outside on your back porch or backyard, um, that would be great. Um, tai Chi is best done uh, in the natural fresh air. It's supposed to give you a little bit more energy and a little bit more calmness when you do it that way. If you do stand, just make sure you're wearing comfortable clothes and you have some closed-toed shoes on such as some tennis shoes or sneakers. If you're seated, uh, you can do it any way, which way you like. Um, if you do need some balance, you can do it standing, holding on to a chair next to you. I'm going to be explaining a lot of things uh, during the warm-up exercises. First, we always start with a salute. Your left hand, fingers together, straight hand. Your right hand is in a loose fist. We bring it together and we bow to each other. The left hand, fingers together, represents friendship. The right hand in a loose fist represents strength. When we bring it together, it represents unity. We are stronger together. So we will begin. We're going to start warming up the body from head to toe, starting from the top. I'm going to be facing different directions so you can see me from all angles. We're going to start with the neck. First, I'm facing front. You're going to lift those hands up to the front. Shoulder height, soft elbows. Pull the hands towards you. Tuck the chin, shoulders down. Press the hands forward. Slowly lower the hands, lower the head. Do it again, facing sideways. One more time. Exercise for the neck, rotation of the neck, hands in front, slowly turning your head to the left, looking into the left hand, pressing the right hand away, back to center, same on the other side. Make sure you're only rotating just your neck. One more time each. Make sure your knees are soft, feet about shoulder width apart. Next up, shoulders. 
Roll the shoulders backwards. Now roll the shoulders forwards. Keep those knees soft. We're going to do some, uh, something called gathering the chi. This is gathering the energy. Soft knees. Keep the chest up. Inhale. Exhale. Circle the arms. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Next up, warming up the spine. Hands in front, little bend in those knees. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, pressing the hands in opposite directions. Try not to lock out your joints. Just stretching the spine. Back to center, bend the knees. Inhale, exhale, stretch. time each. Now we're going to do rotation of the spine. You're holding a large beach ball. Whichever hand is on top, that's the way you're going to rotate just about 45 degrees. When you get there, you're gonna rotate that ball and turn to the other side, just about 45 degrees. Your knees are bent. Your elbows are soft. Keep your abs tight. Next up, we're working our way down the body. We're going to do hips. You're going to take your feet about hip width apart. Slight bend in the knees. You're going to take one foot, press the heel out, flex the foot, pressing the arms backward. Freeze in the middle, reset your balance. You're going to extend that leg, lifting the arms. You're pressing the ball of the toes onto the floor and release. Same thing, other leg. Flex the foot, press the hands back. Pause for balance. Extend the leg, ball of the foot. Down on the floor, lift the head, lift the chest. Release. Again, same thing, other side. I'm just turning to the angle so you can see me better. Press the heel down, press the arms back. Extend the leg, ball of the foot. Lift the arms, lift the chest, release. Number two.
keep the supporting leg soft. A little bent knee on that bottom leg help you balance. Last one each. Next one, I'm going to be facing you. Feet about shoulder width apart, little bend in the knees. Shift the weight onto one leg. Extend the other leg, ball of the foot pressing down. This knee is soft, this knee is straight. On the soft supporting side of that leg, I'm going to take my arms, reach them out here to the front. Palm facing in on this inside, uh, outside arm. Hand right next to the inside of the elbow. We're gonna come to center. Our weight is even right here. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Shift the weight. Little bend in the supporting leg. Extend the outside leg, ball of the foot pressing down. Outside arm extend, inside arm right by the elbow. Shift the weight. Extend. Shift the weight. Extend. Shift. Extend. Shift, extend. One more time. Bend the knees in the middle. Extend the outside leg. Bend the knees. Extend. To the middle and release. Very good. Okay, working our way down the body. We're going to do knees next. Again, I'm gonna angle uh, this way just so you can see me a little bit better. Loose fists right on the front of your hip bones. Lift a knee, tap the toe. Extend opposite arm. Pull it back. Other side. Lift the knee. Tap the toe. Extend opposite arm. Pull it back. Again, I'm just going to face this way. Lift the knee. Follow the foot down. Extend the arm, opposite arm. Pull it back. Other side, lift the knee. Extend, opposite arm, punch. Pull it back. One more time, I'm gonna face front. Lift the knee, extend that leg. Opposite arm punch. Pull it back. Lift the knee. Extend. Opposite arm punch. 
punch. Pull it back. Release. Keep the hands right there. This time we're gonna do the kind of the same thing we just did, but we're gonna actually put weight on that front leg this time and come into like a little lunge. So I'm gonna face side so you can see me better. Shift the weight, bend that knee on that supporting leg. You're gonna step out with one foot, heel, then toe, put weight on that front leg. Opposite arm, punch. Pull it back. Toe, then heel, center. Other side. Shift the weight, bend the knee. Extend the leg, heel, then toe. A little bend on that knee, put some weight on that front leg. Extend, opposite arm out. Make sure the front knee is right over the ankle, not over the toes. The back leg is straight, pressing the heel down like a little calf stretch. Pull it back, toe, then heel, and center. I'm gonna face the other way. Same thing, bend the knees, shift the weight. Heel, toe, lunge, opposite arm, punch, pull it back, toe, heel, step back, other side, same thing, shift the weight, bend the knee, heel, toe, Lunge forward, shift the weight forward, opposite arm, punch, pull it back, toe, then heel, step it back. Last one each, I'm going to face forward. Shift the weight, bend the knee, step forward, heel, toe, Shift the weight forward, opposite arm punch, pull it back, shift the weight backwards, toe, then heel, step back. Last one, shift the weight, bend the knee, step out, heel, toe, lunge forward, opposite arm punch, Pull it back, shift the weight backwards, toe, then heel, and step it back, and release. Very good. Shake it out a little bit. Okay, we're almost done. We're going to go down to the ankles. Four, ladies, right hand, palm of the hand, two inches below the belly button, left hand on top of the right. For gentlemen, left hand first, then right hand. A couple inches right here below that belly button, that's your powerhouse. You're pushing those abs in nice and tight, squeezing the belly button in. Feet are hip width apart, knees are soft. Shift the weight onto one leg, keep the knees soft. Extend one leg, heel, toe, point and flex. Five. Four, three, two, one. Release. Shift 
the weight, other side. Heel toe, point and flex. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Other side. This time we're going to go internal external rotation of the ankle. You're touching the outside of the top of the foot and then the inside of the top of the foot. Outside foot, inside foot. Outside foot, inside foot. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Release. Other side. Shift the weight. Bend the knee. Inside of the foot. Outside of the foot. Inside of the foot. Outside. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And release. Okay, we're almost done. We're just gonna do a couple more uh, little breathing and warm up exercises. We're gonna rotate the body, twisting the waist, swinging the arms side to side. Bend the knees. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next up, we're gonna do marching, alternating arms. Lift the knees, lift the opposite arm. So these warm-up exercises we'll do on each lesson, but the more you do them, the easier they become and the faster we can go through them. Both arms up and down, keep marching. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. I'm going through all these warm up exercises very slowly today uh, just because I want to be very clear on them. But like I said, the more you do them, the more practice. Uh, you know you do with the exercises we'll just go through them a lot quicker next time and so forth after that small circles with the arms inhale exhale bend the knees feet are about hip or shoulder width apart shoulders are down chest is up chin is up a couple more a little bit bigger circles. Every time you lift the arms, inhale. Every time they bring them down, exhale. If you have any shoulder injuries, just do what you can. Keep it right below the threshold of pain. If it hurts, don't do it. Inhale, exhale, a few more, a little bit bigger circles. Three, two, one more. Inhale, big circle, exhale down. Arms are just down by your side. I want you to come up onto your toes, stretch the fingers out, stretch everything out, and then release. Again, come up on the toes, flex everything, stretch all the fingers out hard, 
and release. One more time, stretch everything out, tight, tight, tight. Reach with those fingers and release. Take your hands into little fists, punch out your legs a little bit, get that blood moving around those legs. Shake it all out. All right, so this concludes introduction to Tai Chi warm-up exercises online lesson number one with Ellen. All right, so we always do our salute at the beginning and at the end of class. Left hand straight and flat, right hand loose fist, put it together. We bow to our friends and neighbors and colleagues through the internet. Thank you for joining me and I will see you again next time.